All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play a little bit of a Rug Terramander deck. I really like this card in Standard, so I kind of wanted to try it with like, um, with Delver in Modern just to see if like it was any good. It's probably not, but I just wanted to play it to give it a whirl and have some fun. Um, we've got our twelve threats. We've got six counter spells. 16 cantrips to kind of power through to make sure Terramander is turned on. We get one Curious Obsession to kind of like draw us some cards. Get ahead tempo wise there. And then we got seven main deck removal spells. Kind of Vapor Snag's not really a removal spell, but kind of. Um, and move over to the sideboard. We've got like another Curious Obsession. Dive down against the removal decks. A little bit more removal for big creatures. Triple Surgical, uh, Rancor to beat up on little creature decks. I might want more of these in the 75, to be honest. We'll have to see. A um, little bit of help against Burn. And we've got our Shatters and our Blood Moons. So not a lot to it. I'm, I'm excited to give this deck a whirl. Should be, should be at least fun. I don't think it uh, likely will not be that great, but <clears throat> it will be a fun deck to give a whirl. So... Let's give it a try. Maybe we can live the dream. Okay. I just really like Terramander in standard, so I just wanted to play it in, in modern to give it a whirl. <clears throat> There's a chance that I have too many lands in this deck. Like I should even play 17, then I can play like maybe another rank, like a rank core in my main deck. But I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, it's the first time I played the deck. I just like theory crafted it. <clears throat> and hopefully it works out. Hopefully it's at least fun. Modern has not been very much fun for me recently. Yeah. I hope it's nice. It probably won't be though. <sighs> Okay. Okay, I won the die roll, which is likely very important to this deck. Uh, this kind of sucks because I don't have a one drop, but I'm going to keep it. We're just going to see our visions on turn one because we're looking for a Delver or a Terramander. <clears throat> Neither of those were Delver or Terramander, so put them both in the bottom. Next turn we can hold up Remand. Alright. Alright, well now I'm just going to play the Delver. Hopefully be able to Stubborn Denial of Sylvan Scrying. We can do a trick here where we can thought scour our carbon liquid with our upkeep. See if we want it or not. Okay. <clears throat> our opponent smartly plays around. <coughs> um, stubborn denial. Okay, so that's their Tron piece. Um. I'm just gonna let that go so we can cantrip. Because we kind of have their next turn covered. I right, will reveal an opt. And I'm gonna opt on my main phase because if they play Karn, we have that covered. Um we can vapor snag into Umog. So, or Vapor Snag uh, one Crawl Engine. We're going to get Stomping Grounds with this. Almost for sure that we're going to do that. <clears throat> the hardest card to deal with here is going to be World Breaker. Oh, 
hopefully they tap out so I can get this something off this stop stub. We have three moons in the sideboard to help out here. Alright, well we're going to have to remand this. Then hope we find a second threat. <clears throat> Alright, we're drawing a lot of lands. Which isn't really what we want to be doing. We're likely dead now, because like that walking ballista is just gonna get us. Well, we have three blood moons in our sideboard, so that should be able to help out. Get this flame slash out of our deck. Play a mine. So they've got two, four, six, seven up. No, they've won that. Two, four, six, nine. <coughs> At least after they kill our bliss, though, we can kill the. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, they are tapping this. <clears throat> okay. You got it, opponent. And I'm going to lightning bolt on the end of the turn because if I hit, like, Tarmogoyf, I want to be able to cast it. Well, I'm not going to do it now because they didn't buy it. Oh, man. I could like vapor snag, but they're just gonna kill it again. And I'm gonna hold these two lands. They didn't even shoot me. Alright, we can beat that. Not really. We can kid ourselves that we can beat that. That's tough to beat. Because, like, it makes so that Terry's not a great draw. <clears throat> we're getting savaged. But we're playing a deck that could be susceptible to being savaged as well. <laughs> All right. I guess now they can ditch some. Of my, I should have flashed back a looting. And I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> just can't quite can't find one of our guys we have 12 of them we hit one in the top I don't know 25 cards but such is life sometimes what's up buddy Hey, 10 viewers so far. I hope you're all having a good Saturday morning, if that's your time. It's another Ulamog. All right. All right. Both teams tried hard. <coughs> I 
So we should get some improvements here. Oh, that's nice. So we want this. Want this. The curious obsession is probably pretty nice as well. Cards that are not great. Tarfire Bolt and Flame Slash. Wow, that's a nice little in and out. <clears throat> this leaves us a little weak to uh, a whatever it is. I should try to find a way to keep some lightning bolts in. Probably can shave on a Tarmogoyf. No, we have ways to kill walking bliss though. Because of the abrades, so like we have three ways. Okay, keeping this. <clears throat> we play our Delvaruni on one. Hopefully it flips, and then we see our visions into a land. We might actually, oh, that sucks. I think now I'm going to opt for land because we get two looks at it. How sad. Man, we're just getting eat up. Don't draw threats in game one. Don't draw lands in game two. It's been a tough one for the home team to start. Just an absolutely excellent way to start a stream. It is a little slow. All right, so there's a map. Land. Oh. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Play Terry. So Terry's not close to being flipped yet. <clears throat> it kind of sucks they have their forest, so even if we moon them, it's not going to be that good. The Faithless Loonings are sweet, though, because, oh wow, they have two basics. They're just going to kill my Terry here. Because, like, otherwise, they would have just cracked map, played the card, or they just don't have any payoffs and just full of interaction. Okay. Yeah, their hand's just full of interaction. Come on, land. Tarmogoyf Steam Vents. All right. There's a very good chance this Blood Moon's not going to be enough, but we're just going to slam it next turn and hope. I'm going to say they're not thought not searing me, so. We don't have a clock going on, so so it is kind of tough to, like, eventually they're going to make their land off and get me. I'm surprised they didn't crack this on this turn and make a land drop. 
I mean, it's cool. I don't know if it's good. And that's what I was trying. That's just what I wanted to play tomorrow, today. Like, I've been... Into C Stompy. I don't know anything about C Stompy. All right, we're getting rid of this Tarmogoyf. Actually, probably just get rid of. It's probably just like Tarmogoyf. I want to be able to kill a O Stone. I wish I did some looting. Flashback looting. <clears throat> Get rid of both these obsessions. Ninja of the Deep Hours. Yeah, I mean, Terramander is probably better than most of the cards that you have in this deck. Thoughts of Ruin. Hmm. Alright, our opponent hasn't done anything killed us yet. Okay. Well, now I want to just Serum Visions and play Delver. I guess now I can loot. So really with like a terror matter. All right, well there's that at least. Now we gotta hope our boy flips. Our phone doesn't just go like land drop into Karn. It's cool. One, two, three. So I can just kill my Delver. At least now we can play like a Tarmogoyf. It's unfortunate we can't double activate Terramander. Alright, well. Is our big boy. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to like kill it, or at least we can vapor snag it back to our hand. Shoot me, sure. We almost have a full grown goif. Sanctum of Ugin. Things I don't like to see for a hundred. I guess it doesn't matter because it's under this. Okay, you got a Karn. We got a minus on this moon, probably. Because then they have, like, whatever, another big payoff plus Sanctum rolled up. Hey, Phil. Phil. No. Oh. All right, bounce our Goyf. Philly. I don't think we left any lightning bolts in our deck, so unfortunately we're gonna have to trade this this uh 
convoy for this Karn. Oh god. Incoming. Two. I mean, I'm just gonna remand this. I think because they're just gonna they're just gonna take it. <clears throat> Hopefully, that's all they recast. Would be nice, but it probably won't be. I was done. Three, four, five. Okay. So we saw that we know they still have a thought nuts here. <coughs> We're gonna crack this right now. We've, we've got to. Because like you don't want to lose your thought nuts here. We could like. Oh. We could like keep playing, but the odds, it's going to be tough for us to win this game. I appreciate the follow, uh, Grim. This is literally my first match I've played it. This is my first match I've ever played this deck. So, I don't think this deck's very good, but I just wanted to give it a whirl this morning. I'm not a big modern fan, so I just wanted to uh, play something different. Okay. We're going to untap and scoop it up. More than likely. Both teams tried hard. <clears throat> I think we had a chance if we could have Blood Mooned on turn three in that game, but we just never drew it. We never drew our land. We missed our second land drop. And uh, the first game, we just went through the top 25 cards in our deck, and we just didn't find a second threat because they ballisted our first one. <sighs> but sometimes that's just how she goes. After this league, I'm going to play a League of Death Shadow Zoo. <clears throat> to give that a whirl. The same guy won back to back. Won like the Moto Challenge and he won the um, PTQ with it. So I didn't play a lot. I played a little bit of Shadow Deck, but not a lot of it. <clears throat> it really wasn't a deck that I liked to play once I was, when it was good. But now I do. Two times. It's probably because I'm early. I'm gonna get some more coffee.
All right. All right, on the player. This hand's not great, but we're going to keep it. I stuffed a mulligan. Hands with Delver to start, I think. Or like just a play, a turn one play. Mm. Glad we didn't mulligan. <clears throat> Probably be nice off the top this curious obsession. Okay. Um we'll put that on top. And then I'm gonna fetch a stopping ground. I'm gonna loop. This is like potentially pretty dangerous, but we can at least return a shadow to their hand now. <clears throat> this matchup's likely abysmal. There's a chance that all of this deck's matchups are abysmal, and it's just cool. They probably have to take Vapor Snag if they have a Gurm Hanging Whip. Come on, back up. Back up. I thought he was everywhere this morning. I've got to watch him a little bit this morning, so I might be a little mean to him on camera because he's he just got neutered and he's got stitches. <coughs> They take this and we hit Terramander, we can we're not that close to to uh <clears throat> to leveling it up. We might just be able to get under this deck. I mean, that would suggest that we're potentially getting under it. Oh no, they have another discard spell. They have a shadow. Okay. Whoa, that's a draw. That was a draw. <clears throat> that was one hell of a draw there for us. One, two, three, four. We're just going to let this happen because with how our mana is set up, we can't level up Terramander. So I probably should have gotten a breeding pool. They play a shadow here, we're just dead to battle rage, but like such is life. Okay. We're just looking for like lightning bolt at this point. That'll do it because they can't crack this to to uh, stub it without dying. As long as they don't push me now. <clears throat> Could you drop your new resolve and add angler or tasker? Drop green. Probably. 
I just play green because I like Tarmo Life. Okay, so I'm against a Death Shadow deck. Oh, we don't have like anything. Dive Down's probably okay. Dismember's okay. <clears throat> Roman's not good. Stub's good. We probably don't need all these Faithless Lootings because so we're going to run out of cards pretty quickly. I could just like bring in another Obsession too to try to get him there. I'm going to bring in Blood Moon on the play, but not on the draw. I'm going to keep my burn. I should get rid of this, this Flame Shell. I should go though for another Looting. Yeah. Play against the Inventor of Shattering Blow tech. Am I? Wouldn't Blossom Defense be better than I know? Probably. I literally, like I said, I literally just like put together six, 75 cards that I wanted to play with this morning. That's what we did. All right, we're going to keep. <clears throat> I also just tried to make green as light as possible so I can play Blood Moon. This is the old, they're going to take my Delverino. Yeah. There goes my Delver. They might take my stub if they need, like, another cantrip. <laughs> But yeah, Blossoming Defense is probably just better than Dive Down. Okay. Not cracking, not doing this beforehand. Why would you do that, sir? Oh, that was almost bad. Um, Because we want to fetch Stomping Ground with that to make it so that we have everything we need. I kind of hoping we were going to stub a discard spell there. <clears throat> if they go top top, we could thought scour them, which like might be loose because of Gurmag Angler, but <clears throat> what do they do. They put two cards on top. I think I'm just gonna thought scour them. Okay. So this is gonna get stomping round. So I could just go fetch stomping round and faithless looting, which I think is what I'm gonna do. We could turn on Gurmag Angler there, which is like a little loose, but you know, whatever. Okay. I think we're just going to ditch, like, maximum lands. Try to keep as many spells together that do things. All right. Put on top. Put on top. We'll keep that land, because then we'll let us level up Terrence. <clears throat> One, two, three. Not a lot of, not a lot of the graveyard. <clears throat> okay, you serum visions. My opponent doesn't find a threat, I'm gonna win. But like, you know, that's kinda it. They found a threat. Houston, we can no longer win the game. Now I kinda wish I'd have kept a land. Houston, they found two threats. I'm not sure if my Terramander does anything anymore. I could mill them to draw the land. I don't think I can get rid of my second Terramander on top, so we're just going to Thought Scour them in my upkeep. Oh, that's not how that worked. Shoot. I messed that up. That was not good. I watched a little bit of it today. 
I think I want to just get an island. I messed that up because I was like, I thought it would skip over. Because like when you thought scour yourself, you mill your top card. But I wanted my land. So I, I just messed that up. We're just a little a little early this morning. We're waking up. <sighs> One, two, three, four. These curious obsessions probably aren't good in this matchup. Now we're just going to get shadowed out. <clears throat> How big? One, two, three, four. So we're kind of just dead. I should board these out because I don't necessarily want to be like chip shot attacking. <clears throat> so yeah, I should definitely board these things out here. Battle Rage. Concede game. You got it. You got it. So yeah, I shouldn't have these in my deck. But we're not gonna have because we're gonna we're gonna try Blood Moon on the play. <clears throat> yeah, the curious obsessions were stupid. And we can cut a tar fire. All right, this is what we're gonna do this time. <clears throat> yeah, I watched most of it yesterday. I thought the coverage was like a little worse than it usually is. I was like a little off. Uh, this is the old we can't mulligan. So we're gonna just lead off on this because it's gonna fetch us an island. Of this. All right, now we have to find threats. All right, there's a threat. So our opponent has any like nutso Gurmag Angler turns. We get to return it and play Terrence. Looks like we might have a Gurmag or a Shadow here. Hopefully they just go fetch land Gurmag Angler. <clears throat> that would be the best for the home team. I thought about playing Terrence, but I wanted to have Dive Down up, and they've already used the discard spell. I'm going to feel stupid if they discard spell me, but, like, you know, such is life. We'll dive Down Terry. Then worse comes worse, we can vapor snag it if we got to. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so if my opponent um if my opponent just plays a threat, we get to vapor snag, that's gonna be nice. Alright, so we're not worried about blood moon anymore. Snapcaster Mage. So we're just going to Vapor Snag our Terramander. And I think I'm going to go get a Breeding Pool. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So is this upon resolution? So I can cast this. I can't like hold priority and then grow it. One, two, three, four, five. So 
we have to hold. <clears throat> like maybe we get under him here, but it's going to be a little tough. We're running on pretty low resources. Our opponent's got a million cards in their hand. At least they're going to have four, I guess, so it's not quite a million, but I mean, compared to our three, it feels like a million. They ditched a Gurmag. Here comes a Gurmag Angler. Okay. And I'm just going to level this thing up. You got me, you got me. Looks like they got me. <clears throat> yep. Yep, they got me. <coughs> no, that doesn't even do it. All right. I think if we get to level up our Terra Manager there, we've got a shot. But, like, we can't just sit there and hold forever. You know, which is just, like, the problem. We didn't quite get enough cards in our graveyard. And, like, that could have been because I thought scoured my opponent that one time to, like, mess. Oh, was that game one? I don't remember. I don't think I did that in game two. But like, you know, that's that's the cool thing about Death Shadow. Is that it will rip will tear apart your synergies. I'm thinking that my meme is truly a meme. <clears throat> Hope everyone's having a good morning. As we start to get going, we're gonna play a we're gonna play a solid one next turn. Next, we're gonna play. I mean, I don't know if it's solid or not, but we're gonna play the Suicide Zoo next next league. Give this deck a whirl. See if. Because, I mean, the same guy won events on Friday. He won a Modern Challenge and a PTQ with this deck. I'm sure that he just got people with the combo, though. They just weren't ready for it. <clears throat> okay. Back in front of the game. All right, we're gonna get the O three Mulligan. All right, I mean we've got a Delver. We got a Delver. No, you got to splash white because you need to turn on Wild Nicotle. All right, we're playing it's looks like Dredge. All right. All right. Tarfire Dees. Let's go get an island. Hey, no. This can get a stomping round if we need to, but like it might just get a steam vents. Okay. 
it's also a deck that doesn't want to sit behind counter spells, I don't think. <clears throat> Narc Amiibo. How am I supposed to beat a Narc Amiibo? And a Bloodgast. How am I supposed to beat anything with this deck? That might be the territory that we're at. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. More Narc Amoebas. And a prize amalgam. No. Alright, let's go get a Steam Vents. Serum Visions. <clears throat> I think we're gonna likely need this lightning bolt. What do we need? I need like I guess I need like land tarmaloif in order to hold off this ground here. <clears throat> I probably just need a new deck. This has been fun. They have a con flag in the graveyard too, so they can just like destroy me if they so decide to. Does not appear like our meme is going to do anything. <clears throat> and here comes the con flag. Both teams tried hard. Get Crag for 72. We do get some surgicals, which is nice. But we're going to scoop this one up. We get surgicals and we get an anger of the gods, which should help. Um, I actually think this is a matchup where Curious Obsession is probably not that bad. Rancor is probably good. Oh, I decided not to play the... Which probably makes sense. We don't want the Flame Slash. We don't want the Remands. And we can probably cut, like, one Stubborn Denial. I could, like, try to Blood Moon them. Which is Blood Mooning Dredge, like, work. I guess they get, don't get a green source. We're going to try it. If they don't have a green source, they can't loan. We might just be on the, like, Blood Moon everyone on the play. Because it is the one good card in our deck. Like to play first, and I would like to mulligan. No, we're gonna keep this one. We have a threat on the first turn of the game. Well, I should have boarded that out, just missed it. All right, let's. Play Terrence. Tree corn, okay. That's not bad. All right, suit him up. Boot up our boy Terrence. <clears throat> oh, double looting. Nice. Um, always yes. Always yield. Okay. All right. Then maybe we're playing magic. Maybe we're playing magic. They have no looting. Oh, lightning axe with a tilt. 
what a tail opponent. Let's hit a land drop. I guess I could have done that end of turn. <clears throat> so I'm probably likely going to activate here. Vengeful Pharaoh. Gross. Cards I can't beat for 100. I'm going to just surgical these Blood Ghasts. I guess we're not going to surgical them now. <clears throat> I can't even really play my Blood Moon, so I'll probably have to Faithless Leader next turn. Because, like, I just didn't find any basics. Opponent's probably going to continue to take draw steps. I'm just going to loop. Probably at this point, we just get rid of both of these. And then one, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land, we can level up Terrence. Yeah, I'm just going to play Terry. So I probably have to just surgical this Vengeful Pharaoh so they're going to start to attack. I guess I can start with the Serum Visions, though. All right. On the bottom, put on top. Yeah, we're just gonna take this. We're just gonna take this vengeful pharaoh, and then we're gonna start getting in there. I probably actually just have to hold up stubborn denial. But I am going to just suit this guy up to get in three more damage. And we're going to stub this cathartic reunion if that happens. Oh, everything comes back. What am I going to have in their hand again? Of that. All right, so how big? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, get in there, Terrence. And now I'm just going to play this Tarmaloif, play this Delver. <clears throat> All right, we're getting chilly. We're just going to take this because we don't want them to bring back this or kill our Tarn Wife. All right, opponent loans and shocks. Oh, yeah, they have that dark blast. I should have known that. All right, let's start here. <clears throat> so I probably should hold my Tarmaloy back. How do they deal 9 damage to me? They have 7, they loam up, they dredge to 6, cast loam to 5, loam up to 8, and do they even have... They'd have to flip a con flag, but then all their amalgams have haste. Probably should just hold my Tarmaloy back. They're just going to block it, so. Then I'm just going to play this Delver, because if it flips and they kill Terry, then I'm still in good shape. I mean, I'm likely in good shape anyways, because the Rancor comes back. Okay. <clears throat> 
They're thinking about dredging. They dredge by Dark Blast, they can kill my Delver. Oh wow. They hit a Narc Amoeba and a Chill. They didn't hit uh Reunion though. Or not a Reunion, a Conflagrate. So they play Imp. They can put enough power in front of this. But then they don't have enough power. They have to block this, and then one gets through. So this is three gets blocked, four. Yeah, we just attack with everything. And we get them. <clears throat> I believe we have one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so they're just yellow in it. They could hit double chill. Okay. Again, we just go block, block, take five, block, block, take two, four, five, go to one. <laughs> so close. But it didn't get us. All right. I kind of want some lightning bolts. I'm going to cut these on a draw, especially considering they know about them, and just get these to just kind of finish, try to finish the race off. All right. Will we win, or will we be moving over to Death, Death Shadow? Uh, to Death Shadow Zoo. Yeah, we gotta keep this. <clears throat> like we got, we got it. We got a surgical. <laughs> Just gonna play this out because I'm gonna stub a cathartic reunion. Or um. Or just get a tap breeding pool. Well, you can run. Breeding pool tapped. I guess I should have shocked myself to opt in a turn that was stupid. Alright, I'm still just going to run this goyf out. I guess I should have played my land because there's a chance that they um, dredge and such. I should have played my fetch land because we can grow the goif. Like if they dredge over like a like a shriek horn, so they didn't. Oh, it runs back three lands. Okay. All right. That's what I was afraid of. All right, let's loot because we want to give ourselves a chance to find another Tarmac life. Um, let's just get rid of both bolts, I think. Is there a way to grow this goif? If we get rid of an instant, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get rid of the Serum Visions. We're probably not going to have time for something like that. Get an island. Play another Time of Life. Alright, I think we're going to Surgical this Narc Amoeba. So that they have to at least fight to bring back this Amalgam. <laughs> Oh, they have another lightning axe. What a tilt. <clears throat> At least they don't have anything going on. Well, 
but we've gotten rid of half their ways to bring back Blood Gat or Poison Algum. Okay. So this is gone, and this is gone. So I went back three lands. Now I wish I had my Serum Visions. Probably should have just discarded my Bolt. All right, I'm gonna put on top, put on top. Could have, should have, probably should have held that for a looting. <clears throat> Cause like I'm gonna play Tarmogoy and stub up and then obsession it the turn after. All right, they hit an amp, which is kind of annoying. <clears throat> But all I can do is just kind of keep roaming. Just cast chill as well. And we're not going to cat put our curious obsession on our goyf yet. That's not good. That is not good for the home team. They're triple aiding axe, that's a lot. They already have lands in hand, so there's no sense stubbing this. Okay. So probably what has to happen here is I have to bolt this. It's gonna cast this. They bring that back, block, still have curious obsession. Not proud of this. I think I just have to attack and try to find a way to get out of this. Because they're going to have 8 power, 7 power in play next turn. Yes. All right, I mean... We have another blood ghast. I kind of want to stub this. <clears throat> yeah. I want to stub and denial this. Like, I can't take it home with me. They don't have a con flag yet. This gives another blood ghast haste, so we'll just have to chump here. I don't see any reason to go to one. Oh, they have another one. I'm just stupid. All over the place this evening. So now I just block. We don't have any outs. They dark blast. Yep, we're dead. Are we? Yep. Okay. Well, that experiment is over. So let's just go back to the deck here quickly. Um... I didn't think this deck was going to be that good. I thought it was going to be kind of cool. Maybe there's something here, but I'm not going to spend time on it. It was it was fun while it lasted, but that's just kind of how it is. So let's stop.